Good morning, Emerton Eagles. It's Monday, March 23rd, and this is Mrs. Spencer bringing you our morning announcements. We all miss you so much and wanted to keep everything rolling along as we do school a different way for a little while. Let's begin by standing for the pledge to our nation's flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now join me in saying our Emerton School Pledge. We will make a difference with open minds, open hearts, open hands. We are the Emerton Eagles. Today's weather is expected to be rainy with a high of 46 degrees. It's a perfect day to curl up with a good book and find some fun inside wellness challenges to keep yourself moving. Our positive thinking for the day says, don't let what you can't do stop you from doing what you can do. Sometimes we make things more complicated than they really are. Sometimes we focus on all the wrong things. Focus on what you can do right now where you are. Now it's time to celebrate our birthdays. Last Monday, March 16th, Jackson turned eight and his teacher, Miss Hicken, turned another year older. On Saturday, March 21st, Gabe turned six in Miss Shoemaker's class, Jalen turned nine in Miss Wyatt's class, and Owen also turned nine in Miss Leggy's class. And guess who else turned nine on Sunday? Aubrey in Miss Tawny's class. Today, we wish a happy birthday to Sophie and Zoe, who both turned seven in second grade. And now for today's joke. Since I'm telling it all by myself, I will pause after the question for you to add the callback. Why did the teacher wear sunglasses? Because his class was so bright. And speaking of shining bright, we're going to give a shine bright challenge each day on these announcements. We hope you take us up on it. Today's Shine Bright Challenge is to greet members of your family in as many languages that we've studied as you can remember. We'll be reviewing them throughout this week to see if you've gotten them all. And beginning next week, we'll be adding new languages to keep us learning. Also, if you would like to nominate someone who is Shining Bright, you can send me or your teacher an email with the help of a grown up. Remember to write the name of the person, shined bright by showing an open mind, open heart, or open hand, when he or she, and then fill in what that person did. Boys and girls, work diligently on those assignments, read some great books, practice your basic math facts, play some fun math games, try out a few science experiments, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a marvelous Monday, Emerton Eagles.